Hello YouTubers! Today I will uh, talk about the first steps that um, a new user to Magia needs to do before starting uh, doing all the desktop environment configurations, installing software, etc. The first uh, step that I would like to recommend is uh, concerning security is to set up a firewall so we have to go to Magia Control Center here in the icon we enter our password and then we have to go to security as we can see here on the right with the green icon set up your personal firewall so first thing we need to enable our fire firewall Magi is, ca is coming with the embedded firewall which has special IP tables uh, rules it's very easy to configure now if we check some of them or if we check everything so that means no firewall all services and uh, can go out and in so by default we will not check anything unless unless you are using some services like SSH server FTP server etc however these uh, first steps are for new users to Magia uh, that would like to know what to do first before they are starting doing um, actual configuration uh, and uh, exploring the Magia 5 so we will leave everything unchecked uh, most of the home users they do not use uh, SSH server in one of my next videos I will I will make a video how to connect to SSH server in your local network or outside your local network so for this we will leave everything unchecked for now click OK click OK once again and just OK again now we have our firewall running it will start automatically next time we restart the system second thing that we need to do is uh, to configure some uh, system security and permissions as we can see here on left configure system security we click on it we see that the firewall is enabled we haven't checked yet updates of the system and a security uh, if we click on configure on the security we will see that the security of Magia security tool is running and it has a standard profile for most home users this is enough um, you can see on the next tabs how we can co even more configure your security here there's various options which uh, one can go through and uh, see what is appropriate for for him to enable and disable network security is also here periodic checks if uh, these are security checks of your systems you can con configure it like double click on a service and you can change the settings but for the home users by default everything is fine in contrast with the many other uh, Linux distros they don't have such extensive securities, security tool or uh, if they have it's not installed uh, I usually uh, enable these checks they are just notifications and there's also other profile 
profiles like notebook if you're running notebook using batteries file server web servers for everybody has a special security okay this is we have to be sure that uh, this is enabled of course if you are using just uh, a home computer that just web browsing can uh, some basic daily routines which uh, you are not concerned for security you can uncheck this enable major security tool now we can close this it if there are some changes made it will pop up here on the securities you can leave it or cancel it this was the second step now the third uh, step is to configure the software repositories we have to go to the software management then configure media sources for install and update as you can see down right here the red icon it says that we have new updates for our system but before we do the updates we'll configure the media sources Magia has several repos it has a core release which is the basic open source uh, uh, software supported by Magia and it has non-free repos and also they have um, tainted repositories uh, non-free repositories include like um, non-free softwares uh, like uh, NVIDIA graphic drivers uh, Radeon graphic drivers etc um, tainted tainted rep repositories are include software which in some country it's open source and free in some countries might not be allowed and the other repositories are called backports backports are are software which is in the cooker version of uh, Magia 5 uh, which is the future of Magia 6 they might uh, they are newer newer versions than in Magia 5 they are uh, relatively tested for stability and uh, if you are concerned for stability you you might not uh, want to include the back ports but my experience shows that there's no problem if we include the back ports you will get the newer packages which is plus at some point so let's do one by one let's we start with the uh, core releases are checked local local live core and non free we will uncheck it because this is from the installation uh, DVD uh, let's say we now go to the core back ports we check them scroll down we go to the non free back ports we go to the tainted release now we'll go to tainted backports as you can see there's a, there are checked some of the 32-bit core releases it is good to have them also I would like to check the core 32 bits and tainted 32 bits and tainted 32 bit backports it, it will pull up some 32 uh, bit libraries programs that uh, may not be available uh, 64 bit since uh, this uh, version right now that I'm running is the 64 bit live DVD of Magia 5 32 bits also will pull up like programs like Wine where you need also 32 bit and once we're done with this we click OK and then we can update our system everything is done graphically in some of the next videos I will show how to do it also in the terminal it's quite easy but for new user 
you form a geo. It's quite handy to have everything to control in a graphical mode. It's more obvious, more apparent. So we can click on update system. As you can see, it says I need to contact Mirror to get latest update packages. Okay, don't ask me next time, just contact, yes. And now we'll update. First it will update the RPM tool for Magia, which is the main tool for installation of software in a text mode. We click update, down bottom right. Yes to this message. And now it will update the RPM system and we'll find new packages. It says that inspections, but by default everything is ok. It starts again, restarted the system because updated the RPM base, database. And now we have a great deal of packages to update. Now we click update. 264 packages will be installed. 347 megabyte will be retrieved. Yes! And the process of updation started. I will pause the video until until the updates are done. Alright, the update finished and it asks us to restart. Usually after a, a lot of a lot of updates, if you haven't updated the computer for a month or something, it's good to restart the system. Or if it asks for restart, it, we have to restart it in order the new updates to take effect. Okay, I will restart right now the virtual box. Alright, it restarted. Updates went uh, in a without problem. Everything works right now. We have a newer kernel of uh, Magia. We have a newer version of Firefox and um, other programs. Uh, also, we as you saw, we have enabled also the tainted and non-free repos and also backports, so they pulled up from this uh, also the new versions of some of the software already installed here in the live DVD. Uh, the update can be done also in the text mode or in a terminal. We have to go to the root mode, su, super user, enter, we enter our password and now we are in the root. The, the com com command, the command for a update of the system is urpmi dash dash auto update It's good to run it sometime in order to check all the media again if there are additional updates. It checks right now all this that we checked, all these repos. It still finds new one. We just yes, enter. Now it pulls up from tainted repos. So basically, these are the first steps before you start anything doing with the with the system, like installation of uh, programs, configuring KDE. First, you need to enable your firewall then you need to check or enable 
Mujia security tool. This tool is similar to Fedora's SE Linux security. Then you add additional repos for non-freeze, tainted and back ports. Uh, same for the 32 bits. Then uh, update the system and uh, you are ready to go in the Magia world. Thank you for watching and uh, see you next time.